Then I started getting threats at home. <laughs> we did a peace walk and they shot at us. Did I tell you that? No. We, we did 15 peace walks here. And the one we did over there, but they're like, they like shot at us, man. You know? This and is I'm, when you were organizing down in Las Vegas. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I mean, and it's no big deal. It's a bigger city. I consider it the backyard of LA. If you know anything about LA, okay, gang capital of the world. And you got all of your organizers in Vegas spending their money or investing their money. <clears throat> and of course and of course this is crime activity that we're talking about, so it's not easy. But that's not why I do my job. I'm not out there to <laughs> take data on criminals or or to learn about them. I grew up in the barrio. I know all about it. I know the few options they have, and I know why they're so angry. You know, my goal is to try and connect with the youth, the families, especially the ones that are in need. Because at 12 and 11, when you sense that they've got no hope, and you know literally that they've given up, something's wrong. And that bothers me. I think they deserve a chance, and no one's giving it to them. So whatever you guys want to start. Go ahead, Gary. I Well, yeah, I... I'm here. Is he for, doing it already? He's already doing it while we're talking. Oh, that's awesome. He's so then right. he can edit I learned from Chris. Right. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe you could just guide me and dictate me and he can just, you know. Well, the, yeah, there's not much, you know, Mike, so you well, know. Well, if you don't want, I can just it. go ahead, you know, yeah. whatever. See, Roberto, all of this, I mean, it's really, this is what you've been doing for 20 years or whatever yeah. amount of time. And so I told Roberto that however I could help, and for me, a lot of my time, I'm at home because I have the kids. And so <laughs> I, a lot of it's on the internet. Home. And I can get out and help out in the community here and there at different times. Um, earlier, I called you my rock, and I meant that. You know, my rock, literally. Because someone like I, who's got the passion, the desire, the education in terms of, uh, uh, they call it a PhD, which is a... a, a <laughs> What is it? I forgot it. I'll come back to that. Mm -hmm. uh, P PhD in um, uh, in <laughs> I'll come back to it. But anyways, you know, listen. Twenty years you mentioned. Mm -hmm. No lie. Right. I've crossed senators, governors, dozens of su su superintendents, teachers, attorneys, mm -hmm. dozens of chief of police, dozens of uh, sheriffs. They all concern because it's their duty to care, but right. none of them have really gotten involved to the point where you, where I have felt, you know what, let's do this together, yeah. or we're moving forward. We've got something here. And then when something starts, everything's too political and it falls apart. Yeah. That doesn't help my situation any. And I'm not being selfish here. When I say my situation, I am talking about the kids and parents that I deal with on a daily basis. Here, just in Northern Nevada alone, I have buried over 24 kids who have died as a result of gang violence. 99.9% .9 of them can't get help from the city because they weren't American. Or if they were, they were known gang members. How they define that and how they conclude that is really crazy because they rely on data. And if 